Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So today I am we're not going to be doing some repairs, but what I'm going to do is making I'm making some adjustments to my van. So I've got a solar panel that's uh, attached to it that runs or keeps power to the starter battery just in case it goes low. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some more solar panels and I'm going to connect those to my uh, auxiliary batteries in the van. And I found a couple of I've been searching the web for some sort of solar panel kits I've been looking at upgrading a lot of the stuff in the van I was either sort of contemplating on replacing the van I've had this sort of nine years or so now maybe for a new one or will I just you know do some upgrades and updates on this van and sort of maybe keep it for for another while it's been a been quite a good van so I thought why not keep it um, so yeah I found some solar panels um, I might make another video soon because I've got the solar panel kit now soon i might get a dc to dc charger um different kit i've got one in the van already but i'm not really happy with it so i'm gonna try one from this same brand um this brand hasn't sponsored me to make this video or they haven't given me the products i've bought them myself what i have done is from my viewers i've went on to their website and you can make sort of like a uh like a link that if if anyone buys from the link they can get sort of like a five percent discount so i've went ahead and made an account to do that and I'll add the link to the video. Okay so this is the kit that I've went with. Sort of a 200 watt starter kit from Renogy. If we come over here you can see some of the bits that come in the box. Got some cables, a charge controller and some mounting brackets so we can mount it to the roof. These are the solar panels that I've got in the kit. So they look decent quality got two two solar panels this is the rear and that is the front end of one so you can see we've got like a box on the rear cable connectors here and obviously an aluminium frame a solid frame with a glass panel on it okay so we're on the roof of the van it does need cleaning i know that but no one looks at the roof it's the first time i noticed um so what we're going to do is al align these brackets up like so now we can get these bolted brackets, get them bolted down. Just notice that there is a little uh, information on the module type there. Gives you the watts, how many watts are in the in it and all of the other stuff. Now I'm in no way a solar expert but uh, that is the specs. Now of course we've got two panels so what I'm doing here is we've got a this combo to kit it's a adapter that you can sort of join two to one so now we've got the two from that and the two from this one and they're both coming out to one connection now we're just bolting it down it comes with these eight millimeter bolts here it's got a little rubber washer to sort of seal seal it in keep out the the water i'm not too concerned about water getting into this van it's a work van so it's, it's not a not a camper van but we, we won't get water in there what I'm doing is I'm putting it on top of the ridge rather than down here as well this is where the water channels run so if you put it on the ridge at the top you've got less chance of water sort of seeping in okay so now we've got the brackets bolted down and we've got the two cables from that two cables from the other panel we've got two panels of course so we've got them joined and the extended cord now is going to run around there we're going to find a way to channel that in so you can see over here on my old one where I've just put a little uh, watertight block there that runs the cables through. Okay, so we've got the hole come down into the roof as close to the cab as possible. I should have been a bit more prepared for that because I fed it right into the oil pan. Uh, that's made a bit of a mess. Okay, now we've fed the cables through the bulkhead come down here. So you can see we have got a fair bit of excess cable, so going to adjust that okay we've now got these cables to run from the solar controller to the battery okay so we've got the negative terminal on and we're just again gonna cut the excess cable off okay so positive to positive negative to negative and the same with the solar panel so the solar panels come in here your battery's connected here and this will now charge the unit 
The only thing I would like uh, on my other units I've got over there, I think it's got like a little digital display which tells you how much watts are currently coming in. It doesn't have that on this charge controller, but this is just a free one that you get with it, so you can maybe upgrade that. You can see here on this one that we've got a little display. It shows you what's coming in. It's charging there. 11.9 volts, which isn't much, but it's a very cloudy day today. So I have a little voltmeter here attached to the batteries. Uh, that was at 11.9, now it's at 12.3, so there's a slight increase in the voltage. So in the future what I might be looking at doing is seeing if they've got like an upgraded version of this where we've got a display on it. Um, even though it's behind my seat I won't be able to see it all the time. This one I'm going to look at upgrading to or changing to the Renogy as well. This is supposed to be one of the best DC to DC chargers on the market but I'm, I'm not really too keen on it. Um, actually getting this thing to work how I want it to seems to be a little bit difficult even with the van running it only seems to pump out sort of 13.1 volts plus it also gets very very noisy um, so I did see that they have one in this brand I'm gonna maybe swap it all over get everything matched up I'm gonna swap over the inverter as well this is all a mess as well I need to sort of tidy up all these wires and mount this plug socket somewhere nice and neat so these batteries that are fitted in here these are two UASA leisure batteries 80 amp hour I mean, six months ago I fitted these. They're quite dusty, of course. So it's a work van. But these batteries have almost had it. This is why I'm sort of looking at upgrading the, the system here a little bit. This sort of system here, it's like when I turn the van off, if I'm using the inverter sort of 30 minutes or so, these are dead. Now, within sort of five minutes, battery is dead, it's beeping. Um, so I'm gonna have to replace these batteries and I don't want to keep replacing them every six months, so I'm going to sort of look at maybe swapping over the DC to DC charger, see if we can get a better charge in them while the engine's running. The solar panel, of course, is going to help, and we'll see what else we can do. If I had some more room, I was thinking of maybe fitting a couple of extra batteries behind the seat in there, along, but I don't think there'd be enough room there for it. And you see under my passenger seat, I've got a diesel heater and some other bits and pieces, so I can't use that. Okay, so that is the van now kitted up. It's left me with some stickers, I'll have a look to see where I can put these. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the video description and see you on the next video.